coming up inside LSU Gymnastics, the number one fighting Tigers take their talents to Central Florida to tussle with the Gators of the University of Florida. We'll have all the highlights and you don't want to miss it, including a great feature of LSU basketball and LSU Gymnastics coming together on the road. All that and so much more coming up right now. Inside LSU Gymnastics with D.D. Bro is brought to you each week by Women's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Women's. T.J. Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue, and Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with D.D. Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. Oh, and what a tussle it was in Central Florida. The Tigers and the Gators. We've got all the highlights coming up here momentarily. But first, I'm Mike Smith saying welcome inside LSU Gymnastics once again from the LSU Training Center here in Baton Rouge. My goodness, what a beautiful place. You need to come take a look sometime. But as always, we welcome into the broadcast Hall of Fame head coach Dee Dee Bro. Dee Dee, my heavens, what an amazing gymnastics meet on the road for the first time in the 2018 season against the Florida Gators. Your team showed what it is made of. You know, Mike, you said tussle. It, to me, it was clawing and fighting. It was like two heavyweights just going at it and... Uh, we were the last one standing. It was an amazing team effort. It was indeed. These Tigers both with returning veterans and four freshmen in the yeah. lineup. And Dee Dee, right off the bat on the road, you called upon one of those key freshmen in Sammy Durante to stand up and stand tall as a Tiger on the uneven bar. And she was so proud of herself. Her effort and, you know, hitting those handstands is critical. And you kind of set the table if you're first person up is that kind of confident and she knows she's going to hit those handstands and big dismount that's going to get better and better as, as her confidence comes. But uh, Jay had a great lineup. He, he, he really, really prepared him well for that environment. And then right after Sammy Durante cleanly lands, on that uh, uneven bars, you call upon a senior in Maya Hambrick who keeps the ball rolling, so to speak. Yeah, Maya, what a beautiful bar routine. Her positions are great, nice and stretched out. It's got such good rhythm. Um, you know, flows from high bar to low bar, and, and then she, two big giants and a beautiful dismount that rises, stays in the air, and drops for a nice, clean, crowning stick. She, <laughs> she, she wore the crown and wore it proudly because that's a hard place to compete. So you start off the meet 9-8, 9-8, yeah. which yeah. is a great way to start uh, on the road. And then in the lineup, Kennedy Edney starts you with yeah. your first 9-9 nine, nine in the fourth spot in the lineup. You know, you, you want to count 9-9s. Nine, you want to know that you got a bunch of 9-9s nine, nine stacking up. Uh, back those up with some 9-8-5s and you're on a championship pace. Kennedy, you know, here again, this is her, her second meet, but her first meet to do all four events. So to start on bars, give us that kind of performance, stick that landing, and she's got so much emotion and so much pride. Um, it set up the last two people. And those would be Lexi Priestman and Sarah Finnegan, right. Dee, and they just did an amazing job for you. Right off of the bat, you sensed that the Tigers, they, you, you came to Gainesville to make a statement. No, oh, they, they, we came to play. And, uh, you know, it's how you play the game. And they wanted to win. And, you know, now in the conference, the, the conference counts for a championship. Everything counts. And uh, they wanted to win. So you end the first rotation again in excess of yeah. 49. A great road score on the uneven bars. And you flip it around over to the vault. And Bob Moore had the vault team primed and ready, Didi. They were ready to go. You know, we started out with Aaron Mekadeg. Uh, nice Yurchenko full. Mm -hmm. We knew that um, sticking and controlling landings, you know, this early in the season, that's a hard thing to do. And we did it really well in the warm ups. And um, we, you know, we watched Florida's vaults. They were big vaults. Um, but landings were not, were not real secure for them mm -hmm. so um, we felt like if we could go down there and, and control our landings we could you know at the halfway point 
be a little bit ahead, and, and we were. And you're right, you know, Mer her vault was great, Aaron's was great, but Maya Hambrick, oh. you know, nice, nice high one and a mm -hmm. half as a 10 0 start value. And uh, that there was a 9 9, and, and we were really happy to get that one. And then Lexi Priestman, you know, we're not letting her do a one and a half yet. She's still, you know, we're still trying mm -hmm. to bring her back from that last little surgery she had. Beautiful vault. I mean, it, it was. was it was dynamic, stretched out in the air, exactly what you want to see. That that long position in the air, yeah. and no body bend going into the floor. Beautiful stick. It was. She got the crown. Second week in a row that Lexi Priestman wins the vault title. This yeah. week with a 9925 on the road. And then how about that freshman Sarah Edwards? A, a better landing, um, a nice one and a half vault here again. A 10-0 start value. The more you can have in, in your lineup, the better. The better scoring potential you have. So for Sarah to do that as a, as a walk-on freshman, she's in the center of the lineup, which kind of supports the lineup. You want that to be a strong performance, and it was a little bit of a step on the landing, but her direction is good, height, and good position in the air. And then Sarah Finnegan and Kennedy Edney round out the yeah. vault team, 49-35. Dee Dee. Well, you know, Kennedy did one of the warm-up that was beautiful, and then um, was tr going for the stick, which we don't ask him to do. We want to go for the execution in the air. See, she, she's a little bit back on her landing, but uh, good enough to give us a 9-8, and it didn't hurt us. At the halfway point, the Tigers are on pace for a 197 score, 98 and a half points. And when we come back, we'll have more of the highlights brought to you as always by TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue after this timeout. Inside LSU Gymnastics. You're a mom the moment you see that second line. And it's time to get ready because this birthday takes months to plan. Find the doctor who just clicks with you. Make a birth plan that's right for you. Because every woman wants something different, even you and your BFF. And when it's finally time, our doctors and nurses will be by your side as you bring your beautiful baby into this world. The best birthday ever is at Woman's. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family. Take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan. Proud supporter of college athletics. What's wrong, big guy? All I wanted was a chance to play today. You know it's tough, kid. But we've both been in your shoes before. Yeah, right. You guys are great. Come on. I have someone you want to meet. You know the only way to become great is to learn from a legend. Billy Cannon! Hey, gang. Come on in here. We're going to talk some football. Big day today. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways. Maybe today you'll make that breakthrough. And maybe tonight he'll break through too. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe you'll shine. Or today could just be one of those days. For the unpredictable and the unencumbered, at LSU, maybe counts for a little something extra. Maybe. Absolutely. When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student-athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it. This week's exceptional performer of the week is always brought to you by Woman's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Woman's. Dee Dee, I'll tell you that senior leadership on the road is always something you yeah. look for. Maya Hambrick delivered in spades. She 
from her first event to her last event, she was absolutely as good as she could possibly be. And you know that you, you want that at home, you want that on the road, you want that steady pace in the all around. She not only is is just a superb performer for herself, but she's such a great leader. Indeed she is. And the senior Maya Hambrick, 39-55 at the Florida Gators yeah. in the all-around, our exceptional performer of the week. And Dee Dee, this second half of the meet, you want to talk about exceptional. Yeah. You go 98 and a half to start the, the meet in the first half, 98-75 to close it on the mm -hmm. road for a 197-25 score. What are you talking to the team about at the halfway point when you know you've got a Gator team on the ropes. Well, it's a Gator team that did not graduate any of their strong scores. Mm. You know, we graduated great scoring potential for mm -hmm. this team. So, you know, stepping in and relying on freshmen and, and kids that didn't compete last year. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, our message was hammer down all the way. Let's go. Uh, on floor, I want, you to, I want you to look at this as though it's a one, two, three. And it's what we, when we do just our tumbling in the gym. And, um, Focus on your landings. I want your feet underneath you so your takeoffs are a little more vertical so you can control that landing position. And they did that. Yeah, Our first person out, Ashlyn Kirby, great job. Mm -hmm. You know, and she's like. Very clean. Clean, very clean. clean. And, you know, you're, you're, she's opening with a D. Her Rudy, her first pass is nice and solid. Second pass, a double tuck. That's only going to get better. She, uh, the more we can get her out there and compete, the better she's going to get. And Ruby Harold in the lineup on floor, yeah. the number two spot, delivers a crucial 985 score. It is, and you know, Ruby loves doing that floor routine. Had a hard time getting into that lineup last year just because of the depth we had. But now, you know, she's a sophomore. She she has worked hard. Her tumbling passes are nice and clean. Presentation's good. She loves to perform. And um, she did a great job in that two spot. Let's talk for a moment about the second half of this floor lineup when you go Edney, Finnegan, Hambrick. Mm -hmm. And their scores, 9-9, 9 9 I don't care if that's home or on the road, Dee, that's exemplary. That's, that's, they, they just did a great job. And, you know, here, here you have, that's, that's not freshman. Yeah. Kennedy Edney did not compete last year on floor a lot. Here again, because of the depth, depth the right. kids that we lost. But, you know, she opens with a double Arabian. She finishes with a double tuck. Her, her presentation, her dance is fun, and she just enjoys doing floor routines. So, you know, that, that's nice to have right there in the middle of your lineup. 49-3-5 for the Fighting Tigers on the floor exercise. And then, as always, when you're on the road in a dual meet, you're going to finish on the balance beam. Yeah. Didi, your team owned that four inches on that beam like nobody's business. Well, you know, and, and the, the, the work that we're doing with them in the gym, I think, is, is really exactly what they need to prepare them each week. And our, our inner squads are truly telling, and they bring out that the, the competition, the pressure that we put them on in the gym is what they feel in the meet. But um, Ashley Nat on our staff has done a great job helping with that event so that frees me up to work on floor more. Mm -hmm. But um, our first uh, person up. There you go again. You, talk, you talked about the importance of a leadoff no. performer being steady, and it's Aaron McAdeg's turn. Delivers a 9-9. That nine. one two punch. Yeah, Aaron McAdeg, solid. She, she goes through the process. She does that beam routine exactly like it's supposed to be done. Her rhythm's good. Amplitude, the, the leap combination is solid. And a nice strong dismount and fought for that stick. Then here comes senior Maya Hambrick, also yep. delivers That's that a 1-2 a, punch. A 9-9 uh, nine, nine as well. And then we have a couple of freshmen in the lineup that we've talked yep. about. Christina Desiderio being the first, followed by Reagan Campbell. Well, you know, the that center, that middle of the lineup, if you've got a good beginning, you want the center of the lineup to make a statement. Okay, I'm the, I'm the new beginning now. I'm setting up the end of the lineup. And um, I really like to separate it, but she did a great job. She got up there as a freshman. We want her to be sharp and, and crisp and lots of, lots of expression in her hands. And she did exactly like we've been asked her to do in the gym. And then Sarah Finnegan has an opportunity to close the meet. Reminiscent of just a few years ago, I have to admit, what flashed through my mind was a few years ago, we're at Oklahoma. They're number one. We go, we finish on balance beam. And there's this gymnast named Ashley Knapp, yeah. who's in, in that same spot 
uh, and has a chance to clinch it against the number as a sophomore as a sophomore and then nails it to give the Tigers yeah. the victory. Sarah Finnegan was on repeat. Well, you know, Finnegan is giving a lot of herself to her teammates right now and um, is doing a great job. But she's led, she's led off on that event by two freshmen. Mm -hmm. You know, so she's got two freshmen, um, Christina Desiderio and Reagan Campbell, two beautiful performers, and I think it compliments Sarah Finnegan. What a routine that just nailed it. She just, it's what we needed. We needed to finish the lineup. It was going back and forth. They, Florida was ahead. We were ahead. We had just enough margin going into that event that um, we, had to, we had to have a razor edge finish, and we did. As soon as Sarah Finnegan's feet hit the mat after the balance beam, the Tigers could claim victory a quarter, a one and a quarter tenths against the Florida Gators to go 2-0 and oh in the Southeastern Conference. After this timeout, we're going to talk about this coming week. Just a little old team called Alabama coming to town after this timeout inside LSU Gymnastics. As long as there is fear, as long as there is curiosity, as long as there are undiscovered corners of the earth, and as long as there is willingness and desire, then you are capable of more. Get exceptional offers from your Louisiana BMW Centers, the official luxury vehicle of LSU Athletics. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. David specializes in helping first-time home buyers, offering conventional FHA, VA, RD construction, and jumbo loans. David takes the hassle out of getting a home loan while making you feel right at home. Lending the way you like it. Call David today at 921-8152. That's 921-8152. David Alello with Assurance Financial. So what are you going to do with the speckled trout? That's right. There's just no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. Big day today. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways. Maybe today you'll make that breakthrough. And maybe tonight you'll break through too. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe you'll shine. Or today could just be one of those days. For the unpredictable and the unencumbered, at LSU, maybe counts for a little something extra. Maybe. Absolutely. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by TJ Ribs. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Welcome back inside LSU Gymnastics from the LSU Gymnastics Training Center in Baton Rouge. Nothing like it in all the world, but Didi, you know, we were talking about this week's uh, feature, uh, and, and it's something that we just do here as the Tiger Nation. We pull for one another, and the Florida meet was no different. Well, you know, we found out that the girls' basketball team were, were going to arrive in time to come to our event. They went to practice, then they, they came to the arena, sat with our, with our fans, with our families, a little high up, although they <laughs> were there. And um, it was so much fun to watch them and, and to, for them to share the experience that we had. And, you know, I talked to, I texted Nikki when it was over, and I said, okay, well, we put some Tiger Stink in that building, <laughs> so go ahead and ride on that. And watching them fight to come back from behind and win was huge. Well, as great as that was, it wasn't the first time that Tigers cheer for Tigers on the road. During the 2017 season, the LSU gymnastics program cheered the women's hoops team onto their buses at Auburn, Alabama. 
the school spirit wasn't forgotten by the Lady Tigers, who returned the favor in Gainesville on Friday, making themselves heard over a record crowd at Florida. To see them at Florida, just all pile in there in their purple and gold, we were about to start floor and just kind of waiting around, and we all looked up there and we started waving and we were chanting LSU. It was amazing. Um, but that's, I think that's really what, especially like at LSU, what college athletics is about. It's just supporting each other and representing your school the best you can, and um, that kind of thing's really cool to see. When two LSU programs are at the same road destination, the coaches and students always look to support one another before the big game. Sophomore point guard Jalen Richard Harris loved the opportunity to cheer her friends on in Gainesville. I was definitely excited to be able to go out and do something different, especially to be able to go see the gymnastics team, a team that is like genuinely happy about everything they do. They support every other sport, so for us to be able to go out and give them that same love that they give us was truly a blast. They initially um, saw us when we came in, so it was awesome. Like they yelled "Go!" We yelled "Tigers!" and it was it was just like we were what they needed. Like they missed us, so I was glad that we could be a part of like to be able to cheer them on. With the women's basketball team cheering in the stands, the gym squad roared past Florida to an emphatic victory over the Gators. The gymnasts were so thankful for the extra support, they left the basketball team a picture as motivation for their next game. The picture in the locker room was a tiger eating a gator, like the gator was in the tiger's mouth. Um, and then it was like the SEC challenge or something written on the board on the side. But after the game, um, many of the gymnasts were like DMing me like, thank you, we, we, we enjoyed it, we needed that. I felt like that was their, their greatest aspect of that. For them to reach out to me just because I came was like awesome. That's what you have here. You have teams that support each other, teams that love each other, teams that want each other to do well, coaching staff that, that does the same. Didi would have done the same for us. While the gymnastics team won on Friday night, Coach Fargus and the Lady Tigers used a second half surge to knock out Florida on Sunday, making LSU two for two in Gainesville over the weekend. And it didn't hurt that both programs knew they had a little extra support going into their matchups. Reporting for Inside LSU Gymnastics, I'm Garrett Wolvert. What's wrong, big guy? All I wanted was a chance to play today. You know it's tough, kid, but we've both been in your shoes before. Yeah, right. You guys are great. Come on. I have someone you want to meet. You know the only way to become great is to learn from a legend. Billy Cannon! Hey, gang, come on in here. We're going to talk some football. Dirt isn't always bad. Like, outside dirt, that's not a bad thing. Also, it comes off. Inside dirt? Yeah, that's way different. But now there's a more powerful Chevron with Tefron. Yeah. It has even more cleaning power to clean up deposits left by low-quality gas. And cleaning up deposits restores lost gas mileage. It's legit. Now with more cleaning power, Chevron with Tecron. Care for your car. Nice hat. Romance. <laughs> Inferno. Comedy. Football. Ouija. Oh, yeah, I'm Groot. <laughs> Voice remote on contour from Cox. Cable TV reimagined to get you right to the good stuff. Teamwork, integrity, victory. You'll find words like these on banners, bulletin boards, and locker room walls all across LSU. At Dudley DeBosier, these same values are how we built our law firm. And those values are also how we represent and treat every one of our clients. We're honored to be chosen as the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. And we love serving Tiger Nation. Demand Dudley DeBosier, the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. Kennedy, what are y'all doing here so early? We're here to get some extra work in, Dee Dee. Yeah, Dee Dee, the season's here. That's right. We are so fired up. So much pride and tradition. Watch this. Holy cow! Holy cow!
cow. LSU gymnastics tickets are less than the movies, so make sure to get yours today. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. Welcome back inside LSU Gymnastics. This week's look ahead brought to you by Assurance Financial and David Alello, lending the way home buyers prefer it. Didi, you know, we've been back and forth with lots of schools in the SEC in gymnastics, but there's one that stands out, and that's always our battles against Alabama. The Crimson Tide come to the Maravich Center Friday night at 7.30. It's always a great meet. The rivalry is you know, like it is in football or, or basketball or any sport at LSU, the rivalry is always with Alabama. And um, it's a great Alabama team, a good team, lots of talent. We're looking forward to a great competition. And you need to go online, lsutix.net. If you don't already have your tickets secured, you better go ahead and do that, right? Yeah. Because we're expecting a really large crowd inside the PMAC Friday night at 7.30. It once again television is really helping our sport. Oh, Friday Night Heights is amazing and do go online, get your tickets early, get there early. We've we've set up new food configurations. We've got some tents outside and it's all heated um, so our fans can, you know, enjoy, you know, jambalaya and some other things that we've not had as an offering at our event. So, it's not just about what's going on in the arena, but it's the entire experience. It is indeed an experience. Some have even called it a spectacle That's when it right. comes to LSU gymnastics. Friday Night Heights is coming to the Maravich Center, and we want to see you there. And as talking about seeing you there, we'd love to see you back here next week inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll have all the highlights from LSU Alabama, and we'll take a peek down the road at what's to come for this terrific LSU Gymnastics team, number one in the country again this season. LSU, Didi, we're ready to roll. Go Tigers, let's get it. For Didi Bro, I'm Mike Smith. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week right here inside LSU Gymnastics. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro has been brought to you by Women's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Women's. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. And by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. The LSU Sports Television Network is a division of LSU Sports Properties.